So if you were moving at 299,791 kilometers per second, light would still be moving at 299,792 kilometers per second in front of you? Yes. That's what it means when we say the speed of light is constant. All other motion is relative, but the speed of light is constant. Now that doesn't mean that we're just experiencing two different realities here. There is only one photon, and what that photon does has to agree between the two of us, whether I'm not moving and you're moving close to the speed of light. And that's how we get time dilation. From my perspective, in one second, time will move 299,792 kilometers. But you're moving super fast, so that would mean that your light, according to you, would still be moving 299,792 kilometers, but that should mean that that light is covering a much bigger distance than my light, right? But that's wrong. There's only one light. We are looking at the same photons. So the only way for light to cover a smaller distance from my perspective and a larger distance from your perspective is if the times of our perspectives don't match up. And that is time dilation, time moving slower as you get closer to the speed of light. We are both still living in the same reality and that's the way that reality agrees. I see light as moving light speed in front of me and you see light as moving light speed in front of you and the only way that those two realities agree is if your time is moving slower. Time dilation.